humans, I hope you're all having a wonderful gem of a day. Today I'm doing a Emma Stone SAG Awards makeup tutorial. Is it SAG or like SAG? I have no idea. It's the Screen Actors Guild Awards if you didn't know. And of course she won, she won her award for the category of Best Actress. She seems to be winning awards left, right and centre and I'm definitely rooting for her for the Oscars. Now I've already done an Emma Stone makeup tutorial. I did a La La Land makeup tutorial which I will link down below or on the screen or wherever. But yes, I did her makeup for the film La La Land. If you didn't know, she is in the most amazing film ever, La La Land, which I haven't seen, so I can't say it's the most amazing film ever, but it looks amazing. Everybody says it's amazing. It's been winning loads of awards, so I cannot wait to see that. But yes, if you want to check that out, I have done a look on that. But I thought I would do a red carpet makeup look because she has been killing it on the red carpet recently. Like, whoa, whoa, she's been looking Stunning. I mean, she's always stunning, but recently she's just stepped it up a notch. Like, she just looks absolutely gorgeous all the time on the red carpet. I haven't seen her in anything that looks horrible on her or any makeup that doesn't suit her. And pretty much every makeup look is so, so different. Like, it's not really sort of, you know how some actors have like a pretty similar sort of aesthetic? But Emma Stone seems to just switch it up all the time. Green emerald eyes, why not? <laughs> and that was actually a big trend I noticed at the SAG Awards was a lot of sort of like precious stones sort of looks like like topaz and emerald and sapphire like there was lots of sort of shimmery metallic colorful eyes which is such a refreshing thing for me because usually on the red carpet they're pretty safe they don't really go that crazy or adventurous but I was so excited when I saw there were so many nice makeup looks as well so yeah I fell in love with this one and now the makeup artist for this look was Rachel Goodwin she's actually been traveling with her on the La La Land tour the sort of promotional tour for La La Land now she also did Michelle Dockery's makeup and Brie Larson's makeup for the SAG Awards. So she did three separate celebrities for the same awards night. Like what? How on earth did she have time? And how did she make them all look so incredible? Like seriously, she did such an amazing job. Now she said that she was inspired by the water lilies on Emma Stone's dress. If you didn't see it, it was a, I believe it was Alexander McQueen, but it was this gorgeous black dress with water lilies on it. And Rachel Goodwin said that she was sort of inspired by that. So she used the sort of green shades on the eyes. And she used all NARS products as well for Brie Larson Larson's makeup, Michelle Dockery's makeup, and also Emma Stone's makeup. She's worked for brands such as Shiseido and MAC. She has worked for celebrities like Diane Kruger, Penelope Cruz, Cindy Crawford. She's done magazine covers for Elle, Harper's Bazaar, Cosmopolitan. She's just done so, so well. I will also link below a video that Pixie Woo did on Emma Stone's makeup. If you didn't know, Pixie Woo is an amazing YouTube channel. I always link other YouTubers, I'm so sorry, but like I just love getting inspiration from other people and I just think it's nice to sort of tell you what I I've been inspired by because they did a look a couple of years ago. It was the 2015 Golden Globes, I believe, and they did a makeup look of Emma Stone. They did an interview with Rachel Goodwin, who did her makeup for that, and they basically just recreated what she said she did. So I will link that. And also I would just recommend their channel in general because they have an amazing YouTube channel and they are incredible makeup artists. But without further ado, let us get on to this makeup look. Okay, now Rachel Goodwin says that she likes to prep the lips before she goes onto the skin. Now you may have seen an Instagram post going around of Emma Stone with a lip patch on and it is the Tony Moly Kiss Kiss Lovely Lip Patch. But I'm just going to use a lip balm. This is, I have no idea what brand this is. Mad Beauty? Yeah, Mad Beauty. And it's just like a little Christmas bubble. I got it for Christmas. This stuff is so, so good, seriously. And she also said that she likes to use a face mask a few days before doing their makeup. But I'm just going to moisturize my face using my simple hydrating light moisturizer. And then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. Because this was quite a radiant glow look, which is definitely a trend at the moment, a really glowy skin. Before foundation to lighten up my skin a little bit because Emma Stone is quite pale, I'm just going to go in with my NYX eyeshadow base and this is a white eyeshadow base and I'm just going to put this over my imperfections and this is going to lighten my skin at the same time. And I don't know if you noticed but I haven't been wearing fake tan much at all at the moment. I don't know why, I just seem to be getting into the pale skin trend. And then for my foundation I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match foundation. And I'm just gonna go over that tiny bit of foundation that I put on my eyes with some more of that base. And then I'm just going to set it with my Makeup Revolution Redemption Palette Essential Mattes 2 and I'm using this shade here. 
I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit. There we go, gorgeous. Now Rachel used the NARS Eye Paint in Snake Eyes, but I'm just going to use my NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Jaded. And this is a really, really similar shade. I'm just putting this on the lid. I'm not gonna blend it up at all into the crease. And it's gonna be in a round shape rather than a sort of triangular shape. And remember that Emma Stone does have very hooded eyes, so you're not gonna be able to see it very well on her. So it's probably going to look like I'm wearing more eyeshadow just because my eyes aren't quite as hooded. And this is such a simple look because it's literally just one eyeshadow. Okay, then just using a blending brush, I'm just going to blend the edges. I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny bit more just to this outer corner. And just focusing it in the crease, just to add a little bit of depth and dimension, because it was slightly darker there. Okay, and then just on my brow bone and my inner corner, I'm going to go in with my Barry M Champagne and Dreams palette. And I'm just going to use this champagne colour here. Holding this in slightly, just because the inner corners were quite bright. Okay, now she was wearing liquid eyeliner in this look, so I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim, and I'm just going to really, really lightly, put a really, really thin line, just sort of on the outer half, like that. You can barely see it at all, and then I'm going to put a little bit of a flick. Because there was a tiny cat eye, it was really, really subtle. Okay, then I'm just gonna go in with a bit of black eyeshadow. I'm just using my Maybelline The Nudes palette and just this black shade here. I'm just gonna put that right over the top. I'm actually just gonna use this brush. This is just the Real Techniques Eyeliner Brush, just because I want it really, really precise and unnoticeable. And I'm gonna bring that a little bit further, right up to the inner corner, but not going over any of that highlight. Okay, and then this is optional, but I'm just gonna go over it with this green shade. And this is from my Sleek Eye Divine Palette in Storm. So I really wanna keep that intensity of the green, but I want it to be dark. You can just use that same shade as before. This is just slightly darker. And I'm not gonna go onto the flick at all. I'm just focusing this on the lash line because it wasn't really a noticeable black when she closed her eyes. It was more just like a darkness. Okay, and then just in the center, I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit more of that color, that original color. Just because I feel like I've lost a little bit of the vibrancy from blending. I love this colour, it is so gorgeous. Okay, for mascara, I'm just using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And you really just want to focus this on the outer corner. She may have been wearing some individual lashes. I may actually go in with a few of my individual lashes. So I'm just gonna use my eye lower lashes and I'm not gonna use the long ones. I've used up all of the mediums. So I'm just gonna use some of the short ones and I'm probably just gonna put two on the outer corners. Okay, so I just put a couple of individual lashes on the outer corners and I'm just going to tight line. For brows, I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline The Nudes palette again and I'm just using this shade here. I'm just pushing them to the side and there was a little bit of a sort of slight point here. Okay, moving back onto the face. I'm just going to go in with some more of that eyeshadow base. I'm going to put that under the eyes, down the center of the nose, on the chin, cupid's bow, and a bit around the nose. I'm kind of just using this as a highlight. Okay, then over the top I'm just going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. To set my face, I'm just going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Okay, now I've just set the perimeter of my face, so for the center of my face, I'm just going to go in with this shade. And this is from my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro HD Contour Palette. And then just under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with that yellow shade. 
Okay, and then just for a little bit of contour, now she wasn't wearing much at all, but in some footage you could see, it wasn't the red carpet footage, but when she was doing interviews and stuff, you could see that it was slightly contoured. So I'm just gonna go in with this shade, and this is gonna give me a really light contour. And I'm also just gonna go underneath my jawline. And I'm also going to contour my nose. You said the same. I'm just going to bring it down the sides and also around the ball of my nose. This Emma Stone has a really cute little button nose. For highlight, I'm just going to go in with my Sleek Precious Metals Highlighting Palette and I'm just using the Platinum shade and I'm just putting this on my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, on my cupid's bow, my chin, and also just a little bit in the inner corners, and a little bit on the cheeks. Okay, full blush. Now again, it was quite confusing because on the red carpet it looked like she was wearing a very, very pink blush and like very pink lips, but then when she was doing interviews and stuff it was very peachy. So I don't really know, but I'm just gonna go in with a peachy blush. I'm just using this shade here. I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back. I'm not going all the way in, just sort of to here. And she was wearing quite a bit of blush. She does tend to wear quite a lot of blush, I noticed, which is a nice change because apparently no one seems to be wearing blush anymore. It's kind of going out of fashion, but I like the fact that she wears it. I'm just gonna go over it with my sponge just to blend it a little bit and also to sort of diffuse it and this really helps to sort of diffuse it into the skin so it doesn't look like powder. Okay so we are nearly done. I'm just going to go back in with some more of that black shade. I'm gonna put it just underneath my eyes. just halfway along to there. Okay, and then just on the inner half of the eye, she had this gorgeous, gorgeous silver shade. So I'm just going to go in with my Sleek Vintage Romance palette and I'm using this shade here. And this is one of the things that attracted me to the look because it was just so gorgeous. And I'm also just gonna take this up to the inner corner. So tie it all in. Okay, and then for a tiny bit of extra sparkle, I'm just going to go into my collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Glitz 1. And I'm just going to put this right over the top and sort of blend it with my fingers. Okay, and then to finish it off, I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Colossal Mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, for the lips, I'm just going to go in with my Bourjois Rouge Edition Pesh Cozy. Is it Pesh? Pesh? Oh, I don't know. This is number three lipstick. And it's just like a beautiful peachy shade. I only just bought this, so I haven't used it yet. I actually line my lips as well because it was quite a defined sort of lip look. So I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Paris Lip Liner Couture in Beige and Nude. I'm going to fill them in as well and then just go over the top. Okay, and then I literally always forget to do this on camera, but I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. And that is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I do film and celebrity makeup tutorials. Also, I haven't done the extended version of my La La Land makeup tutorial. I do a series on my channel called Trailer Makeup. I've only done two so far, but basically I do a makeup look from a trailer that I've seen when I haven't seen the film. So I still, still haven't seen La La Land. I cannot even believe it. Everybody else has seen it like 10 million times and I haven't even seen it once. So I'm I'm going to get onto that and I'm going to, hopefully that is going to be out soon. Basically the extended version is just me kind of talking about the film and talking about what I liked and about the makeup look once I've actually seen the film. So yeah, stay tuned for that and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Get down!